Republican presumptive presidential nominee Donald Trump is reportedly confident his campaign will be able to raise up to $33 million at a fundraiser in Palm Beach, Florida on April 6th. So far, Trump's campaign cash resources have lagged behind those of his Democratic political rival, President Joe Biden. Last Thursday alone, flanked by predecessors Barack Obama and Bill Clinton, Biden's campaign raised $26 million for his re-election bid during an event in New York's Radio City Music Hall. U.S. voters interviewed by VOA on Easter Sunday at the Washington Mall shared their views on the candidate's fundraising efforts. The money is needed for things like advertising, specifically travel, staff, that sort of thing. It's not clear to me as far as having a firm grip on where all the money goes. I think that too much money is poured into our elections on either side. Um, I think that we need to cap the amount of spending that we're doing on elections. The candidate's messaging and strategies need some work, says U.S. student Dana Boggs. I just don't see any importance in how anyone is running their campaign right now. Actions would definitely be more important to me than any campaign. While visiting New York City last week, Trump focused on the importance of fighting crime. He's expected to hold rallies in the coming days in Michigan and Wisconsin. Biden told reporters he'll visit Baltimore this week. His attention has been forced to shift from the campaign trail to the recovery efforts in Maryland after a cargo ship crashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge on Tuesday. Maryland's governor, Wes Moore, appeared Sunday on CNN's State of the Union and called the accident, quote, a national economic catastrophe, as supply chains could be disrupted as a result. And so the reason that we need people to move in a bipartisan basis and move in a fast basis is not because we need you to do Maryland a favor. Maryland needs no favors. We need to make sure that we're actually moving quickly to get the American economy going again because the Port of Baltimore is instrumental in our larger economic growth. $60 million in immediate aid were approved by the Biden administration after the bridge collapsed and a large extent of the rebuilding costs are also expected to be financed by the federal government. Veronica